Here are the quick comparison video between two Magpul stocks, the MOE stock and the CTR stock. A lot of people wonder just what the similarities and differences are between these two stocks. I had the same questions when I was looking at them. Seen some videos of only one or the other, but not any videos with a direct comparison of both of them, and therefore thought I would throw this up for you, give you some ideas, help you answer some of those questions. There are really just two big differences between these two stocks. Three if you count the weight, four if you count the price. And the big question is, is that difference in price or is the difference in those first two big differences worth the difference in the price? And that's something that you'll have to decide on your own. So let's talk about the similarities first. They both come in the same four colors, black, OD, desert tan, and foliage. This is the desert tan or khaki or coyote, whatever they call it. They're both exactly the same size. The frame is exactly the same. The cheek welds are the same. The inch and a quarter slots on the top, or rather on the rear and the bottom for mounting a uh, sling are exactly the same. The mechanism for releasing and moving it is exactly the same. And they install exactly the same, which is just by pulling this bar down from both sides and slides off. So very much the same stocks there. The weight is negligible, 0.5 pounds for the MOE and 0.55 pounds for the CTR stock. Now let's talk about a few of the differences. Oh, the other similarity, they both come with the same butt plate, the same rubber butt plate, the 0.3 inch, which I believe is this one. I installed the enhanced rubber butt plate, which is 0.7 inches on this one. And you can see the difference. It's a little bit squishier, a little bit thicker, a little bit meaner looking for what that's worth. Um, but otherwise that also comes the same. So let's look at the two big differences between these stocks. First difference is in the locking mechanism. So one of the complaints people had about the MOE stock is that it had a lot of wobble to it. You'd move it out, you lock it in place, and then there was a lot of wobble. Front to back, side to side, top to bottom, all over the place, it was like a weeble wobble. People didn't like that. So Magpul introduced onto this CTR stock, move it out, lock it into place, a friction lock right here. Push that up, and zero. No movement there. Weeble wobble here. Is that going to make a big difference in accuracy between the two? You know, are you going to shoot a lot more accurate because your butt stock is not in wobble land? Probably not, I'm going to guess. But it is nice to have a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more stable, not moving around stock uh, for what that's worth. So I appreciate the friction lock. The way you just engage it, just push the lever back like you would on the MOE to release it. Push that up. That releases the friction lock and you can slide it back in. The other difference in the two is that the CTR stock has a QD mount for attachment for a swivel attachment for a sling. Can mount that right in there. I was using the attachment up here, oops, up here on my rifle. And in a recent class, I didn't like that as much and I came to learn that it was going to function a little bit better for me with it mounted back here in a two point configuration, mounted there and up on the front. So, and that is on both sides. Price wise, $59.95 for the MOE stock, $79.95 for the CTR stock. So is that QD swivel mount attachment and that friction lock worth $20 to you? That is the question. Something only you can decide, have a good time with that. But there is a quick demonstration of the similarities and differences of these two stocks. Thanks for watching as always.